Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a simple app that responds to a button click. The uh, first thing to note is that I am signed in to App Lab so that I can save my project uh, and I have a blank workspace. If you click on the UI controls, UI stands for User Interface uh, Controls in the toolbox, uh, there are a number of things here that you can toss into an app. Uh, I'm going to grab the button and drag it out. And without changing anything, just dragging out button, let me run it. And you can see that in the app, I have a button. And the text on that button says text. If I were to change this to click me or something like that and run it, you can see that the text on the button changes. We'll talk about the ID thing in a minute. If I click the button, though, nothing happens. It puts a button on the screen, but it's non-responsive. To make it responsive, you need to add something called an event handler uh, to your code. And that's what this on event block is about. If I drag this out, it actually doesn't need to be attached to the button or near it. What this says is that when some event happens, on event, uh, to a block whose ID is ID. That event is a click event, like a button is clicked. Then run this function. And inside the function you can put almost anything that you want. If you run this right now, you still won't see any difference. Even though we've added an event handler, there is no code that is running in response to the event. So I'm going to grab down here at the bottom of the UI controls, there's a fun block called write, which if I drag it out, write will just drop text onto the screen. If I were to run this program now, if I hit click me, it's going to write foo foo onto the screen. And in fact, every time I hit click me, it's going to keep adding that to the screen. So even though I've dropped write in here, there are many things you could do in response to a button click, and as you learn how to program, you will learn new and interesting things to put in there. Uh, a last word about this ID thing. The ID of a button is the name that you want to give it, and it does not have to be the character's ID. If I were to call the button, if I were to put in here, I was to call it foo button or something like that. Um, what that would mean is that the ID I'm giving to my button is foo button. And now my button is not responsive because the event handler that I have set up says it will only respond to button clicks that happen to a, a button that has the ID ID. So uh, if you want multiple buttons or if you want to name your buttons interesting things, the, the ID that you give to your button and the ID that you set up in the event handler have to match and capitalization matters. So my program will work now that I have matched up the ID I've given to the button and the event handler for it.